Caroline. And I'm Tiffany. And this is the Bass, Bass Family, Family Kitchen. Kitchen. So today we're going to make a red wine mushroom sauce. Um, okay, well, let's just get started. We're going to make our uh, mushroom red wine sauce. Uh, this is something that I, uh, I kind of created a, a couple years ago. Um, we use it as a kind of a topping for steaks or... Uh, or just as a side dish. This has been, uh, been one of our favorite sauces that we've been making the last couple years. And we make it all the time and our kids love it and it's good. Like you said, on top of steaks or also just um, on the side, we can really like to dunk our baguette in it. And it's just, I mean, even just as a spoonful, it's really good. So yeah, right. let's get started. Okay, start off with a little bit of olive oil. The pot's already, our pan's already nice and warm. Hot. So, uh, and then we'll take our mushrooms. Yeah, that big. sure. And, uh, All of them at once? Um, yep, we'll go ahead and we'll start tossing them in. And this is a lot of mushrooms here, but you will be surprised at how fast these are going to cook down. Yep. So, roughly, we've got about, what, eight cups of mushroom in here? Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in there. Maybe a little bit more, a little less. Um, mushrooms don't come seasoned, so we throw a little bit of salt in there. We're going to grab some fresh ground pepper. And we'll probably end up doing this again uh, as we put the sauce together. So, so this is going to uh, take the heat down just a little bit. Uh, and this is going to reduce a lot. So as the mushrooms release their, their moisture, then they'll start to reduce. And uh, what we want to do is, this is a lot of mushrooms in the problem right now, but we want to get it down to, uh, it'll be about a quarter of this, if not less than that. Yeah. And uh, we're going to let the uh, uh, let it kind of brown up a little bit. Once it starts to brown up, we'll add the garlic, we'll add uh, some wine, and uh, we'll start to reduce that. So this will take a couple minutes to, uh, to get this thing down a little bit. So, uh, as you can see, the mushrooms have reduced quite a bit already, and they're starting to release some of the liquid. Now, to help speed this up a little bit, this has been about two or three minutes or so far. Uh, so, so far. Um, to help speed it up a little bit, what we can do is we can cover it. And so, the steam will actually help to, uh, to cook the mushrooms down just a little faster, release a little bit more liquid. And then, uh, so we'll let that go for another minute or two, and then we'll uncover it and we'll see where we're at. Alrighty, so it's been a, a few more minutes and let's see how we're doing on our mushrooms. Oh yeah, look at that. So, it's like a facial. <laughs> yeah, they're just, it's, uh, they're starting to reduce and they're, they're actually starting to get a little bit of color on them, which yeah. is good. So uh, um, now the moisture, well, it's already kind of steamed off on us, so we just uh, get a little bit more of the moisture out of here. To so let them cook for another couple minutes yeah, yeah, just, before we yeah, start adding stuff. Probably okay. just another minute or so, okay. just to, to get a little bit more color onto the mushrooms themselves. So you don't want the uh, the mushrooms just really kind of soggy. You want a little bit right, of right. You bite. want them to shrink and yeah. and almost almost hard. Yeah. 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 So chewy. Yeah, a little bit. So we'll let it. Uh, yeah, we'll let it go a little bit longer. Yep. Those uh, are looking great. Yep, they are. <laughs> Now one thing you can add if you choose, and I don't think we're going to do that today, but you could throw in a little, a little um, chunk of butter. And so yeah. uh, mushrooms just love That would make it fun. Sweet. <laughs> How are we? Uh, okay, I'm thinking that um, we certainly like the color that we're getting on yeah, the mushrooms. Yeah, I like it too. Should we add the garlic? Yep. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a lot of garlic. That's about uh, eight cloves worth of garlic. Well, you had about eight cups worth of, of mushrooms, so that's not about right, you know. Uh, not that we're actually that uh, precise, we just like garlic. Uh, I don't think you can ever have enough garlic. Yeah, that's good for you too, you know, and so. And since we both like it, okay. we don't have enough That's right, it's okay. So. Alrighty. Sorry for everybody else in our life that that's true. <laughs> is yeah. around us. Yep. And we smell like garlic. Yeah. yeah. So you just right. want to let this thing start to perfume a little bit and just uh, you start getting a little bit of that, that yeah. uh, garlicky smell that's, that's starting to, uh, oh, yeah. to come off of it. You don't want to cook the garlic too long because it'll, it will burn very quickly yeah. and that's not good. Right. So 
Okay, hey, well, uh, the garlic is starting to perfume yeah, nicely. Yeah, it smells great. And I think it's probably time to start to add our liquids. Okay. Uh, we have a cup of beef broth, okay. beef stock. Um, best if you make it yourself, yeah. of course. And then we have two cups of a good red wine. And we're just adding it right in? Yep. Um, this red wine, if you don't want to drink it, don't cook with it. So, exactly. With yep. Same time or? Uh, it doesn't matter. How about I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. And then a little bit of red wine in there. Oh, that smells so good. Here, I'll take it. Give it a little stir. This is also going to deglaze the, uh, the bottom of the pan, get some of those good bits up. Yeah. And uh, we're going to let this thing simmer and reduce until it gets down to uh, to next to nothing. And we'll, we'll add some mustard and uh, put the, the last last touches together. Good. Okay. Alrighty, well it's been a couple more minutes and uh, we're starting to get some, some pretty good reduction as far as the wine is concerned. Uh, so not a whole lot of liquid left, but you don't want to get it all the way down to nothing. Um, uh, you want that liquid as, as, as a sauce afterwards, after all. So the um, way we're going to uh, to add some thickness to this is we're going to use some mustard. Some good French Dijon mustard. So Mora, if you can get it, uh, you can get it online, you can get it through Amazon. Um, or you can get it in France. Yeah, you can get it in France. And this is pretty much the mustard of choice in France. Um, and uh, a good tablespoon worth. And I use a spoon. <laughs> you don't want to waste any of good stuff. This is our favorite mustard. And so, uh, okay. um, this is going to emulsify. This is going to add uh, some, some additional depth into, uh, into the sauce. I uh, would probably add a little bit more salt at this point. You may need a little more mustard, honey. Um, nope. 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 Okay. It's going to uh, it's gonna thicken up just fine. And then um, add a little bit more pepper. Yep. And this is going to thicken up very nicely. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's amazing how good red wine, cooked red wine, and garlic smell together. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mushrooms just love that combo. Yeah, they do. They just suck it up. Yep. Alrighty. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Just thicken it up very nicely. That is so good. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, our two year old will ask for seconds on this. And I mean, big portions of seconds. Sometimes. Sometimes we have to um, make her wait to eat the mushrooms yeah. because that's all she'll eat if it's on her plate. That's true. All right. Yeah. So here is our final recipe <laughs> of our red wine mushroom sauce. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. Yep. Mm. Mm. So we just topped it on some steak here. Yeah, nice medium rare. Mm. Uh, yeah, a little ribeye. Mm. It's, uh, what a nice compliment. It is so good. It's great like this, or it's perfect just on its own. Just a little side of baguette, and that's all you need. I mean, this is just, this is a great meal right here. Yes, it you is. did a nice job. Mm, thank you. Love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, and uh, for more recipes like this, stay tuned for more videos from the Bass Family Kitchen. Or you can check out our blog at BassFamilyKitchen at blogspot.com. Yeah. Bon, bon appétit. Bon appétit.